Welcome to PC Mac. Today we will talk about how we can make our Open Media Vault as a downloading server. So we can download from YouTube, from torrent websites to a centralized location that is to our, our NAS network attached storage. So let's get started. First of all, I need to check the IP address of my Open Media Vault. So let's open the network voucher and it will provide the IP address. As you can see, 79 is my IP address. Let me open my Google Chrome and the IP address is 79. Now I'm logging into my Open Media Vault. So to download the plugins what we need to do is go to plugin and here we need to type torrent and as you can see you see three plugins available. So the first plugin is for the dedicated torrent client. The second one is also for torrent and as well as for YouTube files and the third one is also dedicated to torrent that is BitTorrent client both are the BitTorrent client and the uh, middle one is for downloading the YouTube file so first of all let's go ahead and check the BitTorrent one so here are the settings once you install these three here you need to configure these options so in settings you need to enable it and then you don't need to put any block list and any bandwidth now this is the important setting we need to set a shared folder on which we can download the torrent files so I set this download on Harry downloads I already created these file system right here this is my drive Harry and the shared folders are right here I created four folders document download movie and YouTube so I'm uh, saving my downloads in download folder for BitTorrent I click on BitTorrent again as you can see file and location these will be saved in downloads now what we need to check is the next thing is if we want to schedule our downloads and we need to enable RPC to web login so we need to enable it and the port number is 9091 and the default password is open media world let me just show you admin and open media world so it's right here and if you want to schedule our torrent downloads as you can see we can set the begin time and the end time by which we can easily turn off our BitTorrent client so let me go ahead and show you how we can access our BitTorrent web page so the, our, so the RPC address is same uh, 9091 and the web address will be same 79 and 9091 for the BitTorrent and we need to put the name username and the password so I'm logging in right now so this is the web interface for BitTorrent transmission client so we need to click open torrent and from here we can choose the file or we can just go ahead and enter the location of that uh, torrent file or we can just put the magnet link here so I have already downloaded a file a torrent file for noobs so let me just show you by uploading it and check whether it's working or not in between let's check the settings as well you can set the uh, download rate and the upload rate from here enable the temporary speed limits and from here you can go to settings as well as you can see the download started from here it's 5 MB downloaded so let me just remove this file and we will check the second client 
you can remove it from here remove it from list and remove now I'll show you the second downloading tool that is Dlitch and I already configured this so you just need to enable it and then nothing need to be done here you just need to click on open web client and it will ask for the password the password is the name D E L U G E and you can see that it will ask you to select a connection manager you just need to hit connect select the file and hit connect and it will be connected now here you need to set the path for your download by going to preference and as you can see I already saved the path to my download folder I'll show you how you can check the path of your download folder you need to go into open media vault and then go to shared folder and here you can see absolute path you can click on this down arrow and select columns and you can select absolute path if it's not available in your drive you can just go ahead and click any arrow and go to columns and then absolute path then you need to type this path over there in the web domain for Dlitch and then click apply ok and now I'll show you that it's downloading the file or not let me just browse the file this one is faster than transmission I tried it as you can see uh, it's starting now and it started instantly downloading the file so this one is also done let me remove this one as well remove torrent and remove with data now let me go ahead and close this one as well now I'll show you the third one the downloader now here what we need to do we just need to add the downloads like this we need to select the download type the first the the last one YouTube one is for the YouTube files so I recommend you to use this to only download YouTube files and for the torrent client use the other two let me just try to download one of my video and show you that it's working or not so let me name it as open media vault and I'll type the URL now it will ask you where you need to save this so I'll select YouTube or just select download now it will give us an option delete from list download after the file downloaded so I'm selecting yes and then save once it's listed here you just need to click on it and start click on download and it will start downloading the file and let me take you to the file and check whether it's downloading or not I'm typing my IP address of my open media world server and these four folders are shared so I go into the download and as you can see omb dot part once you see omb here that means the file completely downloaded and the downloading yes changed to no so I'm closing it here now and removing it from here so please do it by yourself and check that you are able to download the files or not and if you face any problem please share your comments in the comment section and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my video bye bye take care have a nice day